officer. Uh, we are the high school band officers. I'm Gabe Yeager. I'm Francesco. And I'm
is we play the, the smooth lyric, we saw this like a lullaby, very aggressive, very tranquil on this. We're going to change that up a little bit now. So we're going to feature a piece um, that captures uh, some of these kids, you might not remember, but who here back, uh, you know, from back in the day, uh, from my generation, remembers the old video game consoles, Atari, uh, Palm, Frogger, all that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is play a piece of music that features a lot of different sampled sounds, and we'll learn more about that in a second, but um, a lot of sampled sounds from that generation. And what makes this piece unique is that it really offers a lot of risk taking for this band, and it's always good to take risk. Um, we often talk about this movie, what is risk taking, what does that mean? And with this song, with a uh, play along track you hear, um, basically back in the sound booth, our auditorium manager, Mr. Maycart, is going to hit play. Once that goes, we have this track that we play along to a beat with, and we play with it. So it's very uh, challenging that we stay together with the beat of the track because it's something where, with that being a digital track, it cannot uh, rejoin us, so to say, like an instrumentalist could, joining us back in tempo. So it's a really cool thing to um, get our students to do, and they've done an outstanding job. They did a great job with us today in the assembly. And also a unique feature is what we'll have is a screen pulled down here where while we play the play along track to go along with this video game feel, we're going to feature some video game footage from way back in the day, even up until now, with a lot of you who um, have uh, some familiar familiarity with a game called Fortnite. So with that said, to tell you more about this piece called Captain Video, we're going to feature an eighth grade saxophonist, Miss Jaden Baker.
So we're getting adjusted. Um, a few quick announcements. First, I'd like to thank you again for coming out. Um, it is really great that in a small, close community such as ours, we have a great showing for a winter band concert. It really means a lot. We always have great turnouts at these concerts. And I'd like, um, for myself as a director here in my third year, thank you so much for coming out and supporting students, whether they may be your children, ground ch children, neighbors, or etc., or anyone else viewing us on the live stream on the school district website via YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in and supporting our students. So, with that said too, if you've been to our winter concerts in the past, you will know that we also do feature our students that are in the fifth and sixth grade band. Um, just this year, due to some scheduling, uh, uh, some things like that, and how schedules worked out, uh, this year actually, the fifth and sixth grade band will have a concert next week. So in the spring, and then even a year from now, our winter concert will be back with them and join full 5 and 12 band concert. So just in case if uh, you have been with us in the past one, where did they go? Uh, they will be performing next week on their concert, uh, and they will be doing a great job with Mrs. Ryan, who is leading that group now. So to feature now some high school musicians, this is high school chamber wind. So whenever we have band class from the day, you, oftentimes Mrs. Smalls, the choir director, and myself, will coordinate um, every other day approximately for a full band rehearsal, Choir rehearsal. So that way, students are, that are shared in both ensembles can participate in both groups. So, with that said, on days that we have uh, a full choir rehearsal, students that are only in band, that are in band every day, we do some different activities and musical things um, to offer them an extra opportunity uh, to explore some music. So, the next piece of music you're going to hear is a great piece of music. This arrangement just came out this year and it is very special to me as this piece is from a suite of music called Lincolnshire Posey um, by the great composer for Wind Band, Percy Granger. So basically this piece of music is a 
movement from a suite of several different movements that is one of the top ten of all time wind band music. So when I was in college way back in the day, Penn State, even in the wind ensemble there, we played this concert. So a lot of professional wind ensembles you may hear throughout the world, or even top collegiate ensembles, play this movement. This movement is adapted for a small ensemble with flexible instrumentation. So without further ado, we're going to feature a movement from Linky Charposy arranged by Mr. Michael Sweeney.
said, we have one more quick stage change. You know, we always in these concerts have a lot of stage changes. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to now bring on the high school wind ensemble so they can go up and make their way up here. So uh, while we are uh, doing a quick stage change here and getting some things, we can head on up. So with that, I'd like to take a moment and thank a few more people. Um, with this, you see a product of where we are right now in school. But as we know with students, they are a product of many different people putting lots of effort and a lot of time into the success of our children here in our community of Fairfield. So with that said, I would like to first thank the Fairfield Area Board of Directors for all their help and support. Mr. Michael Admex, Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Dan Watkins, Supervisor of Special Education, as well as our outstanding administrators here in the school and principals. So um, as you know, within a, a small school community, there are lots of many things, scheduling, budgetary concerns, um, student affairs. And I can say that all three of our principals here, Mr. Brian McDowell, high school principal, Mrs. Patricia Weber, middle school principal, and Mrs. Barbara Richwine, elementary school principal, do a fantastic job in really meeting the needs of a holistic, focused, whole approach to education and what they do in supporting everything, whether it be from agriculture to sports to mathematics to the arts. And I just would like to thank them for all their support and help in what we do. And also, last but not least, I would like to thank my outstanding colleagues here in the music department of Fairfield Area Middle School High School. Um, first we have, she's on vacation in Mexico. She might be watching this via live stream. But I would like to uh, thank Mrs. Heidi Reiner, who's our elementary music teacher, as well as fifth and sixth grade band director this year, as well as my esteemed colleague in the middle school high school choral department is Mrs. Patty, uh, Patsy Mills for all of her help. So if you could please help me in thanking all those people that support your students. So with that said, we are now going to feature the High School Wind Ensemble, and we're going to feature a wide array of musical styles to you. So the first piece of music is a long melody. Um, we're going to feature a student officer of ours, Mr. Gabe Yeager. He's an outstanding young man who is well known in the school, whether it be well known in athletics, a member of the National Honor Society, or even within the music department does many great things. So with this piece, um, he's going to tell you about our version here and some of the history behind the song Amazing Grace. And with that said, we're going to now feature Mr. Gabe Yeager. Yeah.
one piece that was more or less of a lullaby in a way. And we're now going to feature a piece which, um, in education, especially now, it's ever so important, is embracing diversity in what we do, whether it be diversity of ethnicity, diversity of gender, or even diversity of nationality. So a piece that we're going to play now is called Spring Festival by the Chinese composer Chen Yi. And it's really cool, and we talked about it in band, where it's really unique to um, play this Eastern style of music, which we'll learn about from our officer, Abby uh, Finnefrock. And um, the unique thing with this is, with Chen Yi, she is a world-renowned composer, um, even the piece we're playing is composed by her, it's not an arrangement. And the unique thing was with composers like her, it's much like you would think Mozart or Beethoven, where their music is performed by some of the best musicians in the world. Just about a month ago, I went to go see the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra, one of the best orchestras in the world, perform another piece of hers. So it's a really unique experience that we can play a diverse piece of music, which embraces a different culture than we typically play in the wind band repertoire. And it is also music that features a high caliber of music making. So to tell you a little bit more about Spring Festival, we're going to feature our awesome officer, Miss Abby Finnefrock.
So we started off our portion with Amazing Grace, which is a lovely lyrical lullaby featuring the Spring Festival, which is an Eastern sound composition, and we're going to end our portion now with a piece almost about Grey Rock. So it's kind of a fucking mix. But anyway, with this next piece, with the high school band, many of you have probably seen, it was actually published in the Gettysburg Times on Thanksgiving Day. We had the unique chance and opportunity just a few weeks ago to spend time performing our next piece with a composer whose name was Mr. Jeff Hurley. And it's a programmatic piece, meaning that it has a backstory to it. It's meant to replicate a certain story or something. It's not just a solid piece of art. There's a backstory to it. So with this, it's kind of about going in and finding buried treasure and all that stuff, which we'll learn about from our student officer, Francesco. But um, the unique thing about this piece is that we had the chance to do a Skype clinic with the composer during our class time, which was really cool. And one thing that Mr. Hurley had mentioned to our students, and I think is a real testament to how well they prepare and perform, is uh, Mr. Hurley said that we were really able to dig into a lot of musical concepts that he put into this piece. And he said that he was really honored with how well the high school band was prepared and that they really took a lot of time and focus and determination and making his composition, his piece of art, something unique and special. And I believe, um, even aside from the great things that you're hearing with your students and children uh, perform tonight, is one thing to take away from this performance is that a composer, a person who wrote this work of art, had the highest acclaim to say for our children here in Fairfield of how well they perform. So I think to say to the testament of how we make music here and how well the students take that to heart is something to really say of the remarkable things they do. So without further ado, to tell you more of the backstory about Into the Crib, we're going to feature our student officer, Mr. Grant Chesco. Into the Crib by Jeff Herrick was composed in 2019 and details the eerie and exhilarating journey of a treasure-seeking grave robber with a rendition to The piece opens as the looter carefully edges his way into the dimly lit and cobweb-laden crypt. He slowly moves further and further into the ancient structure, knowing any false step would result in his demise. As he feels that he has outrun all signs of danger, the looter realizes that he has run himself directly into the center of the crypt. To the threshold of the tomb containing the priceless treasure he had sought for so long. He stares admiringly at the mountains of gold when he realizes that he is not alone. Other treasure seekers, pirates, have followed him to cash in on his discovery and were nosily making their way towards the treasure. Without hesitation, the leader snatches what he can and takes off. Sprinting through the labyrinth once again, he tries to find a way out. He sees an opening ahead where the evening's moonlight trickles through guiding his path to escape. As he makes his way towards the crypt's exit, he feels a sudden jolt in the ground. To his horror, the ground around him is seemingly disappearing. The ancient tomb is collapsing around him. His only choice is to continue running towards the light ahead of him. With the debris falling all around him and the cries of the unfortunate leaders behind him, bringing through the crypt, he makes one final leap through the quickly collapsing out that he emerges beaten and battered, but alive and ready to hunt for treasure in another day.
Alright, you're gonna keep them on stage. We are now going to do something we have never done. This one my tinker here yet. Um, we're going to feature all secondary band students together. So we're going to kind of rock out a little bit this kind of play garage band song. You're gonna see some drum set action. It's going to sound a little bit like the old Beatles tune. We're going to feature a tune called a rock and focus. It's a two-minute quick stage change, and we'll be right back for my band. So for these big, you can go ahead and head on up, join your sections. Grab an extra stand, and we'll be right back in about just two minutes. Thank you. 